Hello, my name is Dwan Jones and I'm the Associate Director of Online Learning Events here at the Association. And today I'm joined by Chris Romeo, our subject matter expert on cybersecurity. How are you, Chris? Good. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about cybersecurity terminology and digital transformation. Our learning objectives for today are to recall key terms related to cybersecurity. So Chris, why do we care about cybersecurity vocabulary and definitions? So if everyone that's involved in cybersecurity has the same kind of um, understanding of vocabulary words, it really makes us more effective as we're uh, kind of working together. Okay, so I'm sure there are several terms when it comes to cyber. Can you talk a little bit about the overview of what cyber means? Yeah, sure, so when we talk about cyberspace, we're talking about all of what we think of as the internet today. So that includes telecommunications networks, as well as the data networks that we all use multiple times every day. <laughs> When we talk about a cyber attack, this is the idea that some bad person out there is trying to do, so, they're trying to, to steal some type of information or they're trying to do something to disrupt somebody's overall operations. And so cybersecurity is this big, it's a big, it's a big kind of area, but it includes everything that we do to protect cyberspace against these cyber attacks. Okay. So there is a CIA triad. Can you talk a little about that? Yeah, so CIA Triad is the, it, this is the most, I think it's the most important set of information that people have to understand to, to understand cybersecurity. So we start with confidentiality. Okay. This is the idea that we have to protect the information, the important information about individuals. Um, this could include things like your name, your social security number, your date of birth, um, your national ID number. Uh, and then integrity is when we're working with this data, can we, it, it, can we protect it so it's not changed? Because if somebody was to change your date of birth, that might, might cause some type of a problem in a system. And then availability is, is the information, is it available for use uh, when, when, the app, when like an application needs to, to do something to the data? Like if the, if the application's turned off or it's, it's knocked offline, it doesn't work. So all three of these things, it's like a, we call it a triangle because all three of these things fit together. Okay. And if you have a system that, that has, is missing one of those, then you're going to have a problem because your data is not going to be protected. Okay, wow. So let's dig into some of the definitions and some of the terms. Um, the first one is a threat. What exactly is a threat? Okay, a threat is it's any circumstance or event that could cause something bad to ultimately happen. So it could be something like unauthorized access, um, some type of destruction, disclosure of data, but it's, it's basically a bad thing that could happen against a, a system. Okay. Okay. And what about a threat actor? So if we're going to have, so there's, there's a lot, there's human beings that are behind these threats. Threats don't just happen <laughs> by themselves like poof, there, here comes a threat. Mm -hmm. There is, there's always a human being behind it. And that human being is what we call the threat actor. That okay. person that's trying to um, take advantage of some type of a threat. Okay. Okay. And so there's a adversary and an attacker. What's the difference between the two? So, um, they're very, they're kind of, they're similar okay. to each other. Um, when we talk about an adversary, we're talking about an individual, a group, or an organization or government that has some type, doing some type of detrimental activity. I think of an attacker as more of a generic term. Okay. Um, some people will say hacker. I don't use the word hacker. I like to use the word attacker because I think that, that more focuses in on the fact that somebody's trying to uh, compromise a product or a system. That's, that's kind of, that's what an attacker is doing. Okay. Okay. Um, what types of attackers are there and really what's their motivation behind okay. their attack? Yeah, so the first one is what we call black hat. Okay, so a black hat, what that means is this is somebody who is truly out to disrupt, to steal. They're, they're a, a criminal. There's an attacker that, or a hacker that has this kind of mentality to say, I'm going to, uh, I'm just a, a bad person and I'm going to try to take whatever I can. Okay. Um, a white hat is someone, is, is a hacker that uses those same type of skills mm -hmm. that, that a black hat uses to compromise and steal and do all these other bad things, but they use them for good. Okay. So a white hat might be somebody who's working in a consulting firm and is doing some type of uh, testing 
some type of testing to see, to, to simulate what the black hat would do and then help the company to understand here's, here's how you could be, you know, here's how you could be, have a better system as a result of that. Now, gray hat is somewhere in the middle. <laughs> if you think about mm -hmm. white and black and gray is kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. it's someone who displays tendencies from both sides at different okay. times. So it may be somebody who's working somewhere, but they're also doing some evil things on the side too. Okay. Okay, so we've learned a little bit about who's behind um, needing cybersecurity. Um, let's talk about the attack surface. So the attack surface, if you think about a system as having a number of different interfaces or, or ways that somebody could try to talk to it, the attack surface is all of those potential ways that somebody could try to, to, to talk to that or, or interface with that system. Mm -hmm. Because if they can talk to it or interface with it, they can attack it at the same time. So this idea of attack surface is how do we, how do we consider what are all the different ways that somebody could try to get into our system?